Have you heard about companies who don't ask diploma for hiring for a job? There is such big companies, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, and much more, they don't care about your university diploma. They, they think more important is skills and experience. There as well, some business leaders are talking about useless of traditional schools because traditional schools are teaching only about the tools needed for the problems, but they don't teach most important part, problem solving. I'm a student, and uh, there's a question, to be or not to be a student? Why are we are still learning at universities, at schools, when nobody need our diploma? Maybe we should go and search for a job. Maybe we should learn something from acting, learning by doing. Idea about learning by doing is that we actually learn much more when we actually do activity. Sometimes we call it experiential learning. And uh, my first experiential learning was a long time ago. And it turned into successful learning. Without books, without reading, I succeed. I'm here, and uh, I think we all had some experience learning by doing. There was a small kids. We learned how to walk. We make a step, we fall down. Then we did some observations, and we saw, oh, there is some people who is walking. Okay, let's try again. We try again, try again, and after a while, we learn how to walk. So I learned how to walk and I went to traditional school where learning was from the books. Yeah, there was some fun like chemistry or physics lessons, but uh, honestly, most of the lessons was a bit boring. You know, I'd sit at school, reading. Why? Yeah, so and after uh, school, when I graduated high school, I didn't know what to do exactly for the future because none of the lesson subjects was exciting for me. So I was checking the trends, what popular now, and I saw some movies about rich lawyers. So that moment was psychology and law as a trendy university lesson. I choose a law, but uh, is it possible to learn law only by doing, because if you want to be advocate or judge, you need diploma. But is it possible to learn law by doing? Somebody will say, yeah, it's possible. You can interact with the law, you can get knowledge, you can learn law by doing. But uh, you can't learn everything by doing. And uh, when I graduated university, I got my law lawyer diploma. I could work for a lawyer, but uh, it was not exciting for me as well because it was not what I mentally want to choose. So as my diploma thesis was about cyber crimes, cyber was exciting and cyber crimes interesting, I knew I want to do something in the future with technologies. And nowadays, we can see that technologies are replacing humans. Now, more than 40% tasks have been done by machines. And in the future, next few years, more than 50% performance will be done by machines. Even now, lawyers are replaced by machines, by automation, and even, for example, in China, the judges, some judges, are replaced by artificial intelligence. So at that moment, I was searching for ideas, and it was trendy, Web02 time, and the social networks were rising. And I thought, OK, I will create a social net network as well. I will turn this into business. And I thought it will be easy, because I create a platform, I will invite friends, I will invite a family, they will invite own friends, and it's easy. So it's 
it will became a booming platform. But it was not so as I was expecting. I started reading books about entrepreneurship, about how to develop business. And again, I start thinking, maybe I should go to university and study entrepreneurship. At one moment, I was a bit, bit scared because I was already wasting my time somehow in the university. But uh, then I thought, hey, I have a company. I will go to university. I will study. I will get theory. And then I will use this theory in my company and mix theory with learning by doing. First, uh, who promote learning by doing was John Dewey, and he um, was an American philosopher. And he said, education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. And he suggests four principles of learning by doing. First is reality. We have some theories. I get some theories as well in university. I get some expectation, but reality was different. So I had my reality in my business. By learning, by doing, I actively have new experiences. Second principle, discussion. I had my discussion with another business colleagues, with the clients, and this is how I get more and more excited into work and we share our knowledge with each other. Third principle, interaction. As everything is changing, education changing, and business changing every day, so interaction is crucial. And I had a lot of interactions between subjects of the, my business. And fourth principle, interdisciplinary. At my company, I saw how accounting, is connected to finance, how finance connected to marketing, and how marketing connected to other fields. So I saw that in the marketing is one part for technologies, we call it digital marketing. And I, as I was developing my digital business, digital marketing was crucial for business development. At that time, it was very hard to find some courses at universities about digital marketing. It was something new. So I didn't have any options, just learning by doing. Sometimes it goes by accident, sometimes it works out, but with the learning by doing, I learned a lot of about tools and tips and tricks about digital marketing. Then I develop digital marketing agency and start to create different tools, especially for digital marketing. One of the tools became famous and I was lucky, start to be popular, and I turned it to a company, into a startup company. And it was a time of the startups environment beginning in Latvia. I was searching for investments, I was searching for partners, and luckily, the, the startups start to growing very fast. In few years, team of five became team of 50 person. And then at that moment, I, was, I thought, okay, it's growing so fast. I need to sit down and figure out how to create from a tool to a company, shift even. Then I sit down and start from scratch. I write down mission, vision, strategy. At that moment, I understood it's crucial. But at the beginning, who needs mission? Who needs vision? Most important is creating money. Then I invite a core team for a brainstorming session about core values. We start to figure out what kind of core values we have at the company. And after a few hours, we came out with uh, our company values. It was nothing new. It was something that we had already in a company. But we couldn't understand how to define these values, what these values really means. And uh, then came new issue. How 
these values bring to employees. How to make employees understand what these company values really means. Because it was something new. Before we just work without any values mission, we just go and as we call it, we sh should done every work at the moment. Then I start to searching information how to make employees remember something which is new. And there is a three type of memories. Sensory memory, when we touch something, see through our sensors, we will remember through our body. Short-term memory, when we try to remember, like for example, pin code, we, try, we repeat the pin code in our mind, but uh, if there will be some distractions, we will easily forget. And then long-term memory, and uh, usually we try everything brings into long-term memory. Then I was uh, thinking how values make as a long-term memory for employees. That moment, uh, I did some experiments, I make a test, and uh, I understood if I will give definition of the values, they will not remember for a long term. And uh, now, after my experiments, I have a new startup, new company, and we help clients work with employees. We help them to engage, motivate, and interact with each other. For example, if the company value is uh, mentorship, we don't bring just a definition. We make them live through this mentorship. They interact with each other, with their colleagues. Instead of just writing something about mentorship, they help each other. They act with the mentorship behavior. Now is a new time for technologies. Before we had social networks, now we're talking about Web 3.0, new technologies as a blockchain, cryptocurrencies, NFT. Do you, somebody have already some cryptocurrencies, NFTs here? So you're familiar. It's something new. It's something what we are learning now by doing. Because again, it's very hard to find some courses about blockchain technologies. It's very hard to find some books. It's hard to find data about blockchain technologies and uh, technologies based on that. This is, again, time to learn something by doing. But at the same time, interdisciplinary now brings big opportunity. Because if we bring together interdisciplinary through our technologies, we can figure out some innovations. So conclusion is my every learning need to act as a learning by doing, because you will memorize better. But you can't learn everything by doing. Thank you.